It's hard to believe, but Splatoon 2's been out for a whole week now. The wait for the game felt so long, but now it feels as if it was just a speck of ink in a very long essay. If you haven't heard, I'm a real big fan of this game, but I will admit that it's not 100% perfect. For this reason, I've compiled a short list of things that would make the Splatoon experience a whole lot better for me, and hopefully everyone else as well. I was once a huge fan of the MMORPG genre. Some of my fondest gaming memories are in World of Warcraft, just wandering around the big hub cities, inspecting other people's armor, and just making random conversation. These big hub cities are the reason the WoW community is so close-knit, because people were able to come together to communicate and achieve common goals. I know that Splatoon 2 is very different from an MMORPG, but the community aspect is still very prominent. This game would really benefit from having things like guilds or clans, and I'm sure there are already a few of these that are formed through gaming websites or forums. A player hub where we could chat with each other and see each other walking around live would really help bring people together and find people they would like to play with. I'm not saying we need something as big as Stormwind City or Dalaran, but somewhere to meet other players besides random 3 minute matches would be greatly appreciated. Turf War is pretty awesome. It's an innovative idea that has forever changed the landscape of shooting games. It's also the most basic of game modes, and really helps you prepare for the other mode types and ranked battles. However, I will admit that there is a very rigid learning curve for the other game modes. After a couple of battles, I was able to get the idea of tower control in Rainmaker, but it would have been, and still would be, very nice to be able to practice these modes without risking my current rank. If they were to cycle through a mix of even two different modes rather than just Turf War for regular battles, it would really help out noobs and people who just want to hone their skills before risking the rank they worked so hard to attain. When I first started playing Splatoon, I thought the motion controls would be impossible to get used to. After a few rounds though, I found them to actually be more intuitive than any other control scheme I've ever used. The one problem I have with these though, is that the game lets you look left and right with the thumbstick while using motion controls, but not up and down. The thumbstick functionality is there, so it was obviously excluded for a reason, but I think this would really perfect the motion controls. It would be nice to be able to aim in the general direction that you want to do with the thumbstick, then fine tune your aiming with the motion controls. Now, I don't want to sound ungrateful for the millions of clothing options that we get, because I will no doubt spend hours just playing the dress up aspect of this game, but this is Splatoon 2. Not Splatoon 1, Splatoon 2. Both of these games feature the same amount of hair, pants, eye color, and race options as the other. I was really expecting some more customization from the sequel, and it would have been really cool to play as an Octoling or some sort of other playable race. While I understand they probably wouldn't add a whole nother race after the release of the game, my problem could easily be remedied with just a few more pants and hair options in the game. I really love being able to stand out of the crowd, but it's sort of difficult right now with such limited customization options. Half the time that I play my Switch is at friends' houses where we play games like Arms, Death Squared, and Snipper Clips. This system is unapologetically made for this type of play, so why can't we have any sort of local multiplayer for Splatoon? My first thought was that they didn't include this so that people couldn't just boost their levels or coins by playing rigged local games, but why not just make them separate? I would have so much fun playing custom games with AI or just my friends with no rewards. Or maybe they could at least give us a guest system for regular online matches. Or maybe at the very least just a local co-op salmon run option. It just seems so easy to me and I can't understand why they left any sort of this off the game. Just give it to me, please. I want to play this game with people who don't have the Switch. Is there anything you think is missing from this game? I know there's probably a couple features that I didn't mention on this list that the Splatoon community really wants right now, so let me know down in the comments. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you really liked it. You know, I've got a whole lot of Splatoon slash Switch content on my channel, so check that out and subscribe if you feel so inclined. This is Max from Max Culture, and thank you so much for watching.